to your chairs. Good afternoon, everyone, and you are most welcome into our celebration today as a witness to this moment of marriage and also going through the celebration of the Mass where Haley is going to receive what we term as the sacraments of initiation, and then later on she gets the fourth one, which is obvious, uh, the right of matrimony, getting married to Eric. It's a journey which is not easy, but again, for us we are given the opportunity to accompany them on this journey. And thus we start our celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Please stand. As we are preparing ourselves for these wonderful sacraments that God gives us, we invite each and everyone to think of the wonderful thing that God gives us, the beauty of the family, the beauty of life. It's because of the two families having created these wonderful guys here, Erica and uh, Haley, that we are here. Thus, we should understand for the times that we haven't done well for the beauty of the family. We haven't contributed to the growth of the family. We ask for God's mercy and pardon. Lord Jesus, you give us the family, and sometimes we fail to understand its meaning. We seek for your mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you guide us and you teach us through your ways of life how to honor and to respect our parents. And we pray for the times that we haven't respected those who are leading on our families. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you ensure the family to be a domestic church where we learn about God, where we learn about love, where we learn about esteem, the gift of life. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Let us pray. Be attentive, O Lord, to our prayers, and in your kindness pour out your grace on these your servants, Eric and Haley, that coming together before your altar, they may be confirmed in love for one another. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us listen to the readings. Please sit. Who is doing the first reading? Thanks be to God. And we'll go back a little bit for us to meditate on this uh, wonderful reading. Uh, Stana's death is love. Love invited Eric to look out for Haley. Now you can imagine you are in Virginia and you are hunting in California. How can that be? You know? So we are going to be listening. Can you play Park Bell a little bit in between before we go for the second reading? Please.
And we have the second reader for the second reading. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. And you will rise up for the gospel acclamation. Hallelujah, hallelujah. If I do not have love, I gain nothing. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, From the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together no human being must separate. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Indeed, it has been a journey, Eric crying and beating himself up and asking me, Jerry, can you help me? And I'm like, I don't have time for you. You know, sometimes I'm tough also, you know. I, tell, I also tell them, it's not easy really, you know. We carry these vocations and these callings to serve. But sometimes we need to build that resilience. Eric contacted me and he was talking of Virginia Beach. I'm like, are you crazy? We have Quantico. Why do you need Virginia Beach and all that? And you're going to pay all that kind of stuff amidst the pandemic. Like, come to the chapel. You are a Marine. Come to the chapel. It's your chapel out there. It's given. Use it. And obviously, we walked that journey. Haley, obvious, I'm so grateful for you guys, the parents, for Haley and Eric. And obvious, yeah, Haley, obvious, told me I'm working on my journey. I want to become Catholic and I want to get married to this wonderful guy. The only one I think that is so handsome in the world. I'm like, are you serious? Are there no other guys in California out there looking for you? You know? So I challenged her and she's like, no, Father Jerry, I want to. I'm like, okay, I'll help you. And obvious, we walked into that journey. And for Haley, yesterday when we met, again, I reminded her that uh, she must be grateful. We have a wonderful archbishop for the military services, very great guy, trained as a diplomat, and obviously has served in two, in two countries as a diplomat uh, for the Vatican, and then now at the helm of the archdiocese for the military. I had to request for Haley to get the sacraments of initiation because I'm not a bishop, I'm just a simple priest, simple guy as you see me with my gray beard here. I leave this one for people to, to fear me a little bit, you know. But uh, the archbishop, when I told her, told him about Haley, he was like, hey, Jerry, you know them better than I do. If you think it's a feat and right, go ahead. Let her get to the sacraments. Let her get married to Eric. And I'm like, 
There you go. So it was just like I was waiting, and I'm like, what am I going to tell them? Then I saw the email coming from the archbishop. I'm like, bang, we have got it. Then they were doing their marriage prep. But when we think of what brought them together, it's the mystery of how God ordains his own ways that we don't know about. Eric of Yass in Starford, a zip code 22554, whatever they call it, that one, I believe it's the one. We are not far from where I live. And then Haley in California ways, of yes, I was looking at all, I'm like, how can this happen? That we have to go from one extreme end of the nation to the other side, to another, and to find these two souls longing for each other is what we call the gift that God gives to each other. God has given you, Haley. Haley, God has given you Eric. You were not there. You didn't know how he grew up. Has he ever told you the story? When he was learning how to walk and when he was bumping into walls and everything? He has never told you. Neither have you told him about your stories. You have not. But this is the gift that I want you to see and appreciate each other. And the moment you will cease to appreciate one another, you are going to lose on it. As you heard in the second reading, Paul talking about love. And he was writing to those guys in Corinth. And Corinth by that time was becoming a metropolitan city. There was the buying and the selling of things. Even human beings were on sale, you know. And so Paul writes to them. He's like, look at this beautiful thing that we call life. Look at this wonderful thing that we call love. A teenager who is 16, 15, I love my boyfriend, and they are crying all around. But that's not love. Love goes beyond what your eyes see. It catches into the depth of one's existence. And that's what you guys are beginning today. Within the sacrament of matrimony, you are going to go beyond the physical attraction. You are going to look into the eyes of the real, the real image of the creator, the intent of the creator. Why did God give Haley that gift of life to be there? Why did God create Eric? Why are both of you getting together? It's God, because God so loved the world that he sent his only son for us. He gave us even the life that we have. God ordained that moment for you. And you're going to look into it by understanding what it means to love one another. And then your union, your matrimony, will be strengthened by that love. As we heard, and as we had in the second reading, love bears all things. Love believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails, you know. Sometimes in life you're not going to have it like it's going to be so simple and going down the head or whatever. No, there are ups and downs in life. Who are the people to help you? Run back to your parents and ask them, Mom, how have you been able to love my dad for all these years? What have you been doing? Dad, how have you been able to love my mom all this time? Then they will tell you there are ups and downs. Your parents should be your mentors guiding you. Then run to God. Seek for his prayer. Seek for his guidance. Pray together. Pray for each other. Think of the vision of your family. Want what you want to become and what you want to be. The next phase in our celebration of this Eucharist is going to be the moment of preparing Haley, who is going to be receiving the sacrament of uh, baptism, and confirmation before we get into the rite of matrimony. Mariana and uh, you can give the flower to somebody. Haley, what do you ask of God's church? Baptism. 
And what does faith offer you? Eternal. eternal life. This eternal life to know the one true God and Jesus Christ whom he has sent. Christ has been raised from the dead and appointed by God as the Lord, and li the Lord of life and ruler of all things, seen and unseen. You would not ask for this life or seek baptism today unless you had already come to know Christ and wanted to become his disciple. And for the godparents who are not here, and Mariana, Mariana is standing in as the proxy for the godmother. Your candidate is godparents as God is your witness. Do you consider her worthy to be admitted to the sacraments of Christian initiation? You. you have spoken in Haley Jane's, Jane Coleman's favor. Are you prepared to help her to serve Christ by words and example? Let us pray. Father of mercy, we thank you for your servant, Haley Jane Coleman. You have sought and summoned her in many ways, and she has turned to seek you. You have called her today, and she has, sorry, and she has answered in the presence of the church. Look favorable upon her, and let your loving purpose be fulfilled within her. We ask you this through Christ our Lord. The next moment, we are starting also what will be, we have done the liturgy of the word, and we are going now to offer the prayers for healing. Let us pray for our sister who asks Christ's church for the sacraments, and let us pray for ourselves, seeing as that we are, that we may draw nearer to Christ in faith and repentance, and walk untiringly in the newness of life. That the Lord may kindle in all of us a spirit of a true repentance. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we who have died to sin and been saved by Christ through baptism may be living proof of his grace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that with the trust in God's love and sorrow for sin for our sister, may we prepare ourselves to meet Christ in, as her Savior. Let us pray to the Lord. That by following Christ, who takes away the sin of the world, our sister may be healed of the infection of sin and freed from its power. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord yeah, that the entire world, for which the Father give, gave his beloved Son, may believe in his love and turn to him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord yeah, the next moment... We are going to pray together with Haley in this uh, rite of which is called the penitential rite. The penitential rite looks into our hearts that humbly come before God, seeking for that repentance. We pray together. I confess to the Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my fault, through my fault, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I failed to do. And I ask the blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. The next moment is going to be the prayer yesterday we did the anointing with the oils of the catechumens, which is part of the rite as we go into the process of receiving the sacraments. So we are going to be praying now that God may help as we prepare the waters of baptism. Dear friends, let us pray to the Almighty God for our sister, Haley Jane Coleman, who is asking for baptism. He has called her and brought her to this moment. May, may he grant Haley light and strength to follow Christ with a resolute heart and profess the faith of the church. May he give her the new life of the Holy Spirit, whom we are about to call down on this water. Almighty ever-living God, look now with love upon your church and unseal for it the fountain of baptism. By the power of the Holy Spirit, give to this water the grace of your Son, so that in the sacrament of baptism, all who have, who have been created in your likeness may be cleansed of sin and rise to a new birth in innocence by water and the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The next moment as we continue through this, uh, through this moment, is going to be the profession of faith. 
the profession of faith of us in each and every faith and each and every word, there are those moments, there are some, what we can call as the mantra or the bedrock. So in our faith, we talk of the creed. And in that creed, we are going to be seeing a formula of a questioning that we are going to go through together and on behalf of Haley, that she may understand what she's undertaking. Do you reject Satan and all his works and all his empty promises? Do you, um, and do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, he died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. do you believe in the Holy, Catholic, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? This is our faith, and this is the faith we have just professed, that you are going to be baptized into. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Okay, so the next moment, again, we want to confirm with the parents. It's a cross-check that we do within the Catholic Church. Parents, do you agree that uh, Haley Jane Coleman should be baptized in the faith we have just professed? And she's looking at Eric. This is real love. Look at that. You know, she's tiny. She's not looking at me. She's looking at Eric. You have to be looking at me right now. <laughs> I'm joking. Okay. So the next moment now is going to be for Haley. You come over. I'm sorry. Your, your makeup won't go away. It's okay. <laughs> so bow your head a little bit. And do. Haley, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And the next moment after that, having baptized the Haley, is going to be um, the prayer about the garment. We talk about the white garment. Babies are always dressed in white. Today she's lucky that she's in her wedding gown and it's white. We don't want to stain it, even if she'll be eating chocolate later in the evening and the stain goes on it. She'll be like, oh God, what did I do? So we think, we talk of our Christianity, our faith as the white garment that we must not stain. Haley Jane Coleman, you have become a new creation and you have clothed yourself in Christ. Receive this baptismal garment and bring it unstained to the judgment seat of our Lord Jesus Christ so that you may have an everlasting life. Amen. The next moment, obvious, the God parent is obvious here, but I will be giving them the light. We always call upon Christ to be our light to lead us, to guide us in all that we do. You have been enlightened by Christ and walk always as a child of light and keep the flame of faith alive in your heart. And when the Lord comes, may you go out to meet him with all the saints in the heavenly kingdom. Amen. And the next moment now we are going to go into the sacrament of confirmation, whereby she will be also be anointed with the oils of chrism. Haley Jane Coleman, born again in Christ by baptism, you have become a member of Christ and of his priestly people. Now you are to share in the outpouring of the Holy Spirit among us. The Spirit is sent by the Lord upon his apostles at Pentecost and given by them and their successors to the baptized. The promises, the promised strength of the Holy Spirit, which you are to receive, will make you more like a Christ and help you to be a witness to his suffering and death and resurrection. It will strengthen you to be an active member of the church and to build up the body of Christ in faith and love. My dear friends, let us pray to God, our Father, that he will pour out his Holy Spirit on our newly baptized sister to strengthen her with his gifts and anoint her to be more like Christ, the Son of God. All-powerful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, by what and the Holy Spirit, you freed your daughter from sin and gave her a new life. Send your Holy Spirit upon her to be her helper and guide. Give her the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of right judgment and courage, the spirit of knowledge and reverence, 
Fill her with the spirit of wonder and awe in your presence. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Haley Jane Coleman, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you and with your spirit. And obvious, having gone through that right now, Haley is a fully initiated Christian. You may blow the candle and you will take it home with you, you remember? So you don't leave it to miss your candle to remind you. Now we are going to go now, having gone through that, we are going to go now into the right of marriage where Eric will be like, I've been longing for this hour. No. Dear beloved, you have come together into the house of the church so that in the presence of the church's minister and the community, your intention to enter into marriage may be strengthened by the Lord with his sacred seal. Christ abundantly blesses the love that binds you through a special sacrament. He enriches and strengthens those he has already consecrated by holy baptism, that they may be faithful to each other forever and assume all the responsibilities of married life. And so in the presence of the church, I ask you to state your intentions. Eric and Haley, have you come here to enter into marriage without coercion, freely and wholeheartedly? I have. I have. Are you prepared as you follow the path of marriage to love and honor each other for as long as you both shall live? Are you prepared to accept children lovingly from God and bring them up according to the law of Christ and his church? I am. Since it is your intention to enter the covenant of holy matrimony, join your right hands and declare the consent before God and his church. I, Eric take you, Haley, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and bad, in sickness and in health, to love you and to honor you all the days of my life. I, Haley, take you, Eric, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and bad, in sickness and in health, to love you and to honor you all the days of my life. May the Lord in his kindness strengthen the consent you have declared before the church and graciously bring to fulfillment his blessing within you. What God joins together, let no one put asunder. The next moment we are going to invite the one who has the rings to come forward that may bless them before they exchange them. You may stand there, please. Bless, O oh Lord, these rings which we bless in your name so that those who wear them may remain entirely faithful to each other and abide in peace and in your will and live always in mutual charity. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Haley, receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you. Eric, receive this ring oh, as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and the Son, 
in the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Having heard about the consent and also having received the consent, having blessed the rings and we have heard of the exchange of the vows, now we go together as a community witnessing to this moment to offer our prayers and petitions before God on behalf of Haley and Eric and their families. Please stand. Let us have the prayers of the faithful. Who is doing the prayers? We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord yeah. hear our prayers. For Haley and Eric and all their troubles, for their faithfulness to each other, and for their loving service of the gospel. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our country and those who defend us, may our men and women who serve in the military and the first responders be kept safe from all harm. We pray to the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our guests gathered here with us today, may they enjoy the warm company of family and friends and safe travels in this land. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. <coughs> For me and Eric, may they live long and blessed lives together. May their love grow stronger each and every day. And may they be filled with family rooted in faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty ever living God, we thank you for the gift of the family and for the gift of life. We continue to pray for your newly married son and daughter, Erica and Haley. Continue to bless them and bless their families. We make our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Bless our Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the body of Christ. Blessed be God forever. Bless our Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice into your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of his holy church. <clears throat> O oh Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks, Lord our God. 
It's really right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere. To give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnated by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. Fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with all the angels and the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. For those who can kneel, you may kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, they are for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. You do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly you pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Timothy our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Eric and Haley, who have just been married today, that you may bless them in all their intentions as they begin a new phase of life in their, on their journey. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, we pray, O Lord. That, with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed your apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coheirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. As the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, allowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await for the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said it to you, apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And obvious as a tradition, 
and a moment of cherishing the love God gives us, we exchange the peace, the sign of peace, and obviously we can't exchange hands, but we wave. So may we exchange that sign of love and peace with one another. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that I should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For those who are prepared to receive communion, you'll come forward. Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The final moment is going to be the praying of the blessing over the newly married couple, Eric and Haley. May God, the eternal Father, keep you of one heart in love for one another, that the peace of Christ may dwell in you and abide always in your home. Amen. 
May you be blessed in your children, have solace in your friends, and enjoy true peace with everyone. Amen. May you be witnesses in the world to God's charity, so that the afflicted and the needy who have known your kindness may one day receive you thankfully into the eternal dwelling of God. Amen. And may the Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, allow, you, allow me to give you this moment of presenting to you Mr. and Mrs. Eric and Haley Mensah. Come forward. And you may kiss the bride. Now you are allowed. Such a good job, thank you.